welcome Christian. Round of applause, please, for Christian. Hi. Hi, welcome. Hi, good to meet you. Stage is all yours. Thank you very much. So, um, November is the time for the SPS Fair. But it's also the time for lots of hikers, so after the hot summer days, enjoying the beautiful nature of autumn. And in the end, it's all about enjoying the achievement on top of the mountain. So having a cold drink, having a snack, enjoying the great mountain view. And I think most of you know this precious feeling. And today I want you to come with us on a hike to achieve new standards, not for a cold drink on top of our journey, but towards the future of basic automation. And such a hike can be challenging sometimes. When we speak of basic automation solutions and new achievements in this sector, we have to overcome various obstacles. So technological advancements do not only affect high-end applications. There is also a growing need for cutting-edge technology in simpler automation solutions. And those technological advancements require constant improvements and state-of-the-art technology, leading to an increasing need for productivity. At the same time, versatile customer requirements demand scalable and tailored automation solutions with maximum flexibility in order to be able to react to fast-changing market requirements. And all in all, there is a very high cost pressure, especially in this entry-level automation field, to stay competitive in this price-sensitive applications. So let's think of this journey as if it were a hike. And with each step we take, we take one step further in productivity, in flexibility, and in cost optimization in the end. And for every hike, you need the right equipment and conditions in order to successfully climb the mountain. So at the beginning, you should think of safety. You should think, how safe is this hike? Do you have the right safety equipment in order to reach the top undamaged or unharmed? Then you should think of motion. So are you physically capable of also tackling challenging climbs? So do you have the appropriate agility, coordination in order to deal with also steep passages during your hike? And you want all of this with the right transparency. So whether you want to know um, how does the weather conditions look like in the next two hours, what is your current heart rate, or at what level of altitude are you at the moment. And all of this helps to deliver the best possible performance in the end. So those factors determine what heights you can reach on such kind of a hike and what heights you can reach in terms of basic automation applications is interestingly determined by quite similar factors. So if you're looking at a basic automation machine, there it's also necessary to fulfill safety requirements in order to avoid, to avoid any harm to human or machine. And I spoke about fast-changing market requirements. So that might lead to the fact that you have to build machines with different levels of complexity. And that would mean that you have to change your safety concept over and over again. And therefore, what you need is a flexible machine safety concept. Motion, not only important when going on a hike, but also for a lot of machine applications. And what you need is an efficient motion control implementation to simplify engineering and boost productivity at the same time. And you want all of this with the right level of data transparency. So think of machine service. You might want to have access to diagnostics data in order to optimize your machine uptime. And finally, performance. So performance and scalability are key indicators when looking at productivity and at flexibility. So performance defines the level of power of your machine. And in case you reach the application limits, you want to scale up your application with as little effort as possible. So those are really the key factors when looking towards the future of basic automation. And the automation technology you build into your machines 
sh should support those innovation fields in the best possible way. And what is at the heart of every machine? It's the controller, it's the PLC. And we are proud to launch a new controller generation for basic automation here at the SPS Fair, our new Simatic S7 1200G2. It is the successor of the well-established Simatic S7 1200, and it comes now with flexible machine safety, with efficient motion control, increased data transparency, as well as enhanced performance and scalability. So let me show you what each of these added value fields contributes to your future-proof automation solution. So let's start our hike and have a look at safety. So when climbing a mountain, you need the right safety equipment to protect yourself from falling and to arrive on top in one piece. And this safety equipment should be space-saving, it should be cost-efficient, and it should be simple so that everyone can use it and knows how to use it. And the same applies to machine safety and to our Simatic S7 1200 Generation 2. That is also available as a fail-safe controller. And why is it space-saving? We offer an optimized hardware portfolio to meet the exact application requirements. So for example, if you want to realize a single safety function, you can use fail-safe signal boards directly pluggable onto the CPU without any additional space requirements in order to realize a single safety function like an e-stop, for example. Why is it cost efficient? So you don't need a programming safety license for that anymore. And we talk of an optimized hardware portfolio. So whether it's a single safety function or multiple safety functions, just add the safety fail-safe IOs that you need so that you always have the right number of IOs for your safety functions. And it is simple. So just with the snap of a finger and a little parametrization, you can get your safety concept ready since we provide ready-to-use and certified safety program blocks. Let's go on with our hike and come to the topic of motion. So let's imagine we come to a steep section. And in order to overcome this hurdle, we need the right movement. And the right movement means it should be coordinated it should be dynamic, and it should be flexible. And the same applies to your motion control system in your machine. And we offer now the perfect handshake between the controller with Simatic S7 1200G2 and the drive system with our Synamic servo drive and Simotic servo motors. So and this allows for coordinated movements. The new controller generation offers enhanced motion capabilities so to not only control single axis movements, but now also coordinated axis movements and even simple kinematics. And with that, you can realize um, moving and positioning applications, for example, handling applications, or any kind of processing applications in the end. How do we achieve uh, dynamics? So we have now the perfect servo drive system coordination and communication. As said, this is the perfect handshake between the controller and the drive system with the right communication based on Profinet, IRT, isochronous real time, and that allows for all kind of dynamic and precise motion applications. And this is flexible. So we offer a scalable motion and safety solution now with standardized engineering. So if you imagine you have a machine with three to four motion axes, that can be controlled typically with the new Simatic S7 1200G2. But if you reach the application limits, you can simply select a higher performance class CPU, like the S7 1500, and you're ready to go with the same drive system with the Synamix drives. All right, next stop, transparency. On your way to the top, you might want to know where you are, and you might want to know how fast you have to go, and what are the conditions, for example. And for that, you might have a smartwatch on your wrist in order to have access to this kind of data. And you want that to be lightweight, you want that to be smart, and you want it to be secure, since it's also referring to some kind of personal data. And how do you realize something similar in a machine? And the answer is use near-field communication on the new Simatic S7 1200G2. This allows you to have access to diagnostic data, operational data, device data, and so on. So and why is this lightweight? We offer wireless data access, no additional hardware needed, and no additional license needed. You just download an app from the App Store onto your mobile device. You can scan the CPU, 
and have access to this kind of smart data. Smart data, I speak of integrated system diagnostics that are available without any programming effort. So all our semantic components offer this integrated system diagnostics. And this is available then on the TIA portal, on an HMI, for example, and now also on the app if you scan the device, if you scan the CPU. And of course, this is secure. We have on the one side access protection via a password, and we are talking of near field communication, so that means you need physical access to the device in the end. So we got quite far on our hike already, and now we are trying to reach top level performance. And in order to reach that, we need to be fast, we need to be durable, and we need to be adaptable. And this is kind of the DNA of all our Simatic controllers and also of our Simatic S7 1200G2. Why is it fast? So we deliver now enhanced processing power and dedicated communication performance. So that means that the automation program and the data communication run separately on this controller. And that helps you to yeah, make this PLC more than two times faster than the previous generation in the end. It is durable. We offer well-known reliability, as with the previous generation, Simatic S7-1200. And you also benefit from worldwide availability, worldwide access to spare parts also. That helps to optimize also your machine uptime in case there is an error. And it is adaptable. This is part of our future-proof and seamlessly scalable Simatic controller portfolio. And as said, in case you reach performance limits, you can simply take your program, put it into a higher class CPU like the S7-1500. You can stick to your motion concept. You can stick to your safety concept. And you're ready to go. And with that, we are on top of the mountain. And we can now enjoy the great mountain view in the end. So and being on top feels great, right? It's always a nice reward for the hard work. But staying on top is much harder. And that's what you can achieve with Simatic S7 1200G2. Make your machines ready for the future of basic automation. Rely on this new controller generation with flexible machine safety, with efficient motion control, with increased data transparency, and with enhanced performance and scalability. So, Visit us at the booth. We are just around the corner here in the design area at station number eight. If you want to get more details about this new controller generation, we are very happy to get in touch with you. Thank you for your attention and a great rest of the day here at the SPS Fair. Thank you, Christian. Great presentation, great insights. My last question was like, um, are you talking about climbing in the Himalayan region or rather in the Bavarian Alps? Um, it looked like more than the Bavarian Alps, exactly. but to be honest, I'm not sure where this picture was taken. OK, um, no worries. I thought you're mountaineering yourself. It for sure can take you to incredible heights with using Siemens technology. That's Perfect. for sure. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank you very much. All the best.